this schedule, the M1, is reconcilia reconciliation of income or loss per books. So whatever's on the books, whatever's on the accounting records, with whatever's on the ta tax return. Okay. Now those won't always be the same. And I'll give you a couple simple examples is let's say that on the company's books, the depreciation is like, uh, is being taken in a straight line. So they, if they buy a fixed asset, they just depreciate it for five years using straight line depreciation. But on the tax return, you use section 179 or you use bonus depreciation or you use makers. Uh, whatever you accelerate the depreciation, right? So you're going to have a difference on the depreciation between what's on the accounting and what's on the tax return. And the M the M one is going to help is going to be a way that you show, you know, this is a difference from the accounting to the tax return, and these will all tie back uh, into the tax return but they won't be the same as the balance sheet because the balance sheet is from the company's books. This is supposed to be from the company's books and this is identifying, okay, the company's books are gonna be different than the tax return for X, Y, Z reasons. Another common example would be if you have entertainment expenses, right? Or um, those are gone now, <laughs> but uh, if you have business meals. So the business meals is gonna be listed as a hundred percent expense, right? On the profit and loss on the bookkeeping, right? And that profit and loss is going to flow to the balance sheet, right? But on the tax return, you're only going to, you're only eligible to deduct 50% of that business meal, right? So let's say you have $5,000 in business meals that you're writing off. That would be an item that would be a difference between the books and the tax return. So that would be noted here on schedule M1, right? Same thing for if you have tax exempt interest, like let's say the corporation owns uh, municipal bonds or has some kind of tax free interest that would be recorded on the, on the bookkeeping, right? It would show on the profit and loss, okay, interest income, but it's not gonna appear on the tax return. So the schedule M1 is gonna help you identify those, um, uh, those discrepancies.